Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the first, other than my hair dyeing video, this is the first proper sit down video that I have made in 2021. So this is on to a good start because I've got a really exciting unboxing to do. I love subscription unboxings. The only kind of unboxings I did last year really was um, makeup ones, the BoxyCharm ones. So because I wanted the year of 2021 to be a lot more focused around spirituality, witchy stuff like faith stuff, my beliefs and all of that, I thought it would be a good start to begin as we mean to continue because I really want to work on my Dinky Divinations series that I started talking about at the end of last year. Dinky Divinations will be a series of videos that are smaller and very focused based on particular topics around the around the witchy world and spiritually speaking will be a kind of sub genre of content on the channel where it'll be more like longer videos such as this one where I will be diving into something spiritual based and I wanted to call it spiritually speaking because nothing that I say is me telling you to believe the same as me this is literally just hypothetical stuff that I believe in other people can be can choose to if they want or not like I'm not here to preach I'm just here to share my ideas share my thoughts possibly educate I'm not exactly a pro in this world but I'm doing my best and I've got some things that I feel like I could share and maybe help. So in this video we're going to be unboxing the witch casket. I had a discussion with my boyfriend literally five minutes ago before doing this. Is it casket or casket? Because I live in an area where people would say casket but I would say casket because i'm a partial little southerner how exciting is this this was sent to me to review so i will declare that this isn't a sponsored video though they didn't even ask me to do a video unboxing they just asked me to do like to post something on instagram and i'm very like honored and flattered so this is a vegan friendly box i believe each box like to get a box a month it's 29 pound which is quite high i guess in price but however that is po like including post as well so Shipping is free and also the worth of the contents inside is, I believe, £50. And they also plant one tree for every subscription box that they sell, which is amazing. They do crystals, incense, prints, spell work stuff, um, candles, things for your altar, jewellery, a lot of their stuff. I believe there's like five exclusive stuff. I don't know why I'm holding it up like it. <laughs> like it's like a holy product. I mean it is. They have like five products in this that is exclusive. Anyways, let's just get into it. Oh god, I literally nearly stabbed myself in the eye there. I nearly just did it again. Look how nice the pr Okay. This is going somewhere in the bedroom. This looks very bedroom-esque. She is cute. I don't know if there's gonna be details in the box of like the artist and stuff, but look, she's a little witchy girl casting a spell, causing up a storm. I love artwork. I love witchy artwork. Like my Instagram explore page is, <laughs> oh wow, this is pretty. Witch casket exclusive. This looks so posh. Fancy, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm excited to open that, but I kind of don't also don't want to open it at the same time. I guess this gives me the information. This is the November box, by the way. I'm guessing there's gonna be quite a lot of stuff in this, considering it's gonna be worth quite a lot of money. Whoa, okay. This immediately caught my eye. Magic within you. How nice is this? Uh, this is a desk slash altar organizer. Cute, so it's a little pot you can use for whatever you want really, I guess. This practical wooden pot will help you to streamline your desk or altar, whether you use this to gather your pens or quills or candles and incense, this will help you to keep a well-organized space. I really wanna work on my altar this year. I've got a whole new bookshelf. I'm really excited about that. This is cute, this is like, heavy duty as well so convenient for like pretty much anything that you might want to put in there i don't know what i'll i'll do yet oh god we dropped it <laughs> uh oh some incense of course could we have a magic box without some incense i have the biggest incense collection i think i've ever seen anyone have <laughs> i don't really know how it happened i think i just kept buying more and more incense because i kept forgetting how much i had and then when i moved house i collected all my incense together and i was like Probably shouldn't have bought that much. This is Fairy Mist by Stamford Inc. I've used this brand of incense before, I believe. Oh, 
very floral. I don't think I've had a um, incense stick that floral before. A creativity charm bag kit contains everything you need to explore the depths of your own imagination. Ooh. Uh, this pack contains gloves for clarity, basil for creativity, blue lace a gate for, <coughs> for creativity, white satin pouch, white to clear your mind and allow your creativity to flow and instructions. So I believe this is a little spell kit. That's really cute. I might have to do that in like its own video maybe. Cute, cute, cute. <gasps> Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, it's like labeled number one, number two and the little satin pouch. So it tells you what to do to make the spell. And then you say, I call to the creativity. It shall be as I decree. Inspiration surrounding me, imagination is set free. I'm gonna need this this year. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Not gonna lie, like I came into the year feeling, I still kind of am in that zone, but like felt a bit like stuck. But what I do as well, like you need constant creativity because like, you, you have to think of a new idea, create it, and then like before you've even published it out to the world, you already need to be ready for the next thing, like having, having the next idea and like you just can't afford to just not have ideas, do you know what I mean? So. It's quite easy to get out of the swing, but this is cool. I'll definitely have to um, document this, but like I said, it's instructions like to blend your basil and cloves while you focus on your intent. These magical herbs will encourage creativity and then focus on the area of your life in which you'd like to be more creative. Hold your blue lace crystal and charge this with your intent. Yeah, there we go. I'm excited. And there's the crystal. I love how everything's like branded, like really officially branded, like the little instructions. It all looks very like, it's a little official booklet and everything. How fancy that looks. I don't want to open it. This is the exclusive thing. It's so fancy. I was not expecting this. God, I feel like I'm getting invited to Hogwarts or something. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this what I think it is? Wait, is there no, there's no instructions in this? I need to look at the booklet. It doesn't say, oh. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, use the enclosed sheets to write to your coven. Write down spells and rituals. However you use them, they are sure to add a magical touch to your inscriptions. You get four parchment sheets and four black envelopes. Such a neat idea. How cute. And then I can keep them in the envelope as well. How pretty are these? So unique. Oh, they're all different slightly as well. This one's got the skull on the top. That's so cute. And these are just four envelopes to put them in. That's so cute. Like, I wonder who I'm going to write to in 2021. I have a friend who sometimes sends me um, little spells that she's done. Um, she'll do a spell and then like send me the charged like shells or like crystals or whatever she's worked on. It's such a sweet, sweet idea. Next up we have this, ooh, pin. Oh my God, how cute. So it's focused mainly around like writing like creativity probably i guess setting intentions as well because that's like a very common thing common practice like pen on paper is very um meaningful and intentional and i like that that goes with the theme i love a theme and subscription boxes i get so annoyed when like the makeup ones i subscribe to have a theme but they never feel like relevant to the products i don't know that bothers me Ooh, this is a stamp a wax seal so the wax seal that i had at the back of this i can do one myself so when writing to people seal it off feeling proper official i think that's what this is anyway yeah it is <gasps> oh my god look i literally i'm never going to send a letter without this ever again look how fancy that is wait i want to see what this says seal enhance your magic mailings by sealing them with this decorative pentacle seal not only is this strike a striking way to secure your envelopes but it lends you the perfect opportunity to stamp them with your powerful magical intentions i love that that is so cool and the fact it's a pentacle as well you're like offering them like a, a seed of abundance like gifting them like good opportunities and Oh, I love that. I love the theme of this. This would be bad if you didn't like the theme, but I don't know why you wouldn't like a particular theme. I don't know, maybe for a witch who only works in certain areas, you might not like a certain theme or whatever. Wax seal, oh, this is part of the wax sealing kit. So I guess this is the wax to go with the stamp. Like, look how brand, like, um, 
branded everything is. I don't know if they sell these products separately. I feel like they should because of the way they've branded everything so well. Oh, oh my god, I'm nervous to do my first ever try at this because I don't know what I'm doing. What are these? Good job we got instructions because place wax pellet. Oh, it's a wax pellet. Wax pellets in the melting spoon. Oh, can you put it in here? Oh my god, this is so cute. Light the candle and place the spoon over the flame to melt the wax. Carefully pour hot wax in the area you want to seal. So then obviously you use the stamp that I've got. Allow these two items to rest together long enough for the impression to set into the wax. It's going to hopefully look like that. I'm excited. Is that something that I should do on, on camera as well? Is that lame? Like, would people want to see that? I don't know. I love putting, like, um... Like, I don't know whether people would think about spell work when it comes to, like, sending letters and stuff. Like, how you can even include magic into that. Like, I feel like people wouldn't necessarily think of that. But there's magic everywhere, literally. It's all about intent. So, I like putting magic into, like, everyday things that you wouldn't necessarily think Ooh, this is a little scroll. I just hate the idea of ripping anything. Ooh, so fancy. The power of the written word. Almost all witches are obsessed with writing tools. Exactly. Pens, paper, notebooks, journals, and of course, their book of shadows. And there's a reason for this. Witches know that there is a great power in the written word. Yes. Here's how writing can help you in your magic. So this is a good thing to frame. Maybe have it over your altar or something like that as like a reminder it's got some writing about journaling and it says about positive writings book of shadows book of shadows is something i also want to work on this year i have the most amazing book to use for my book of shadows adam gave me this book that he didn't want like this notebook that he's had for years it's incredible and i can't wait to show you this is what it looks like it's just some information it's probably very helpful journaling is a very therapeutic pastime one which not only allows us to get things off our chest but also allows us to see how far we have come so a book of a uh, book of shadows these books are a place for you to inscribe your successful spells recipes rituals etc yeah all valuable information i'm going to keep this cold up next up we have ooh, a little bookmark everything is so themed i just love a theme <laughs> guys say it one more time seek magic this is cool i've got lots of witchy books i'm reading and at the moment i just remember what page i'm on because i don't like folding bending the um corners so this will be perfect for the current book that i'm reading <laughs> I don't know why I'm making that slightly kinky. Everything's so golden. Is it always golden? Like, is it just themed golden this month, like black and gold? Because it's pentacles, so gold, pentacles, money, finance. Ooh, maybe. I don't know, I might be making that up. Oh, this is pretty. Ala God, I'm bad at pronouncing crystals or stones. Lapis lazuli. <laughs> Lapis. 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 Lazuli. <laughs> Oh god, this is a stone though, um, probably about creativity I'm guessing. A stone of self-expression and creativity, this is what I want to work on this year, literally self-expression. Encouraging confidence and honesty in the spoken or written word. Yes, it also inspires confidence and clarity and wisdom, that is literally if you were to ask me what new resolution would be this year, it's having create, having confidence in my creativity and authentic creativity as well. Like I'm really trying to like get more in touch with like who I am and not following the crowd and not making stuff for the sake of like other people and like what's trendy and all that. I just want to make what I want to make and be honest with like some stuff that I'm still learning, and developing on and trying to have clarity in the stuff I do know so I can like teach others and help other people. I'm gonna keep this so close to me throughout the entire year. Cool. I like these. These are always so satisfying to squash. They're like little wassets. Creativity. <laughs> Creativity blend. Hilarious. This is a tea by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire. We selected Whorehound? Whorehound for this blend for its ability to bring clarity and focus to unlock creativity. Brew this tasty green tea whenever you feel a mental blockage. That's good for me to know to buy more of if, <laughs> if I feel like it helped. Um, standing in the way of you and your creative goals. Luxury, luxury ingredients. Decaffeinated green tea, Whorehound, oxidant level medium. Antioxidant. Ooh. So it all just, I know I keep saying this, but it's all so well packaged. Whoa, okay, so there's a lot of it. I need a strainer for this. Damn, I thought it was gonna be tea bags. But at least there's a lot of it. I don't know how many you can get out of this. Um, I do, I've needed to get a strainer for so long anyway, so. 
Looks like a bag of weed. It smells really nice. It smells like... What does that smell like? These are biodegradable bags. All of the bags used are biodegradable. And all of the, these... Did I mention these boxes are vegan? I think I did. So that's everything in the box. On the front of the little booklet that this came with, it says November's is our 48th witch casket. It's hard to believe that witch casket is four years old this month. Thank you for all being part of such an amazing and magical journey. This month focuses on coven correspondence and celebrates the power of the written word. And we hope it encourages you all to put quill to paper and write down your intentions, experiences, and magical musings. Yes, yes, yes. Deb and Ella. Hi, Deb and Ella, if you're watching this. The little print that we opened at first, there is some information on her. Introducing a new indie artist to Witch Casket. Oh, that's good. They, they, they like support small artists. This month's bewitching print was created by the talented at Aquadini. <laughs> I'll leave a hashtag on the screen. Oh, and by the way, it says at the bottom here, all spells and rituals are created by Witch Casket's co-founder, Deb. All experience practicing witch exclusively for Witch Casket. All contents, as always, are guaranteed vegan friendly. That's so good. So yeah, I hope that if you are deciding on this box or just a witchy box, this video gives you a little bit more insight as to what you would expect in the witch casket. And if not, I hope you just enjoyed unboxing this with me so it feels a little bit like you've unboxed a box without buying a box. <laughs> That's why I, I watch a lot of unboxings, not gonna lie. If you would like me to continue with them, let me know in the comments. Just say, Ellie, could you do more of these? Or could you try this other subscription box? Maybe you just like this one in particular. Can you do more of um, which casket unboxings, please? Let me know, I want your thoughts. Um, also, it'd be really cool if you could let me know in the comments what product was your favorite. If you were to get this box or if you did get this box, what did you enjoy the most? What do you think you would make use of the most? And that's all. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, do give this video a thumbs up. I'm on social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So you might see more stuff similar to this on those platforms. I do tarot readings on my Facebook page, or you can DM me on Instagram. Links to both of those are down there. And I have a Patreon. So thank you to my top patrons for supporting me as always. Love your faces. Loads of love from my house to yours. 